Hey guys, it's Asia Cobbs and um, just a really quick heads up. It is very windy out here so I apologize if my hair starts going everywhere and just all of the above, okay? So um, this video is to basically introduce myself to people who do not know me yet um, and also to introduce uh, what the Art Trap House is, what we're about, what we do, and how we do it, why we do it. Okay, so... Um, I had some people actually send me some questions um, that I could answer for you guys so I just wouldn't be on here rambling okay um, so the first question is who is Asia Cobbs well I'm Asia Cobbs um, I'm 27 years old I'm an entrepreneur I am an artist first I love painting drawing fashion design hair makeup um, just anything artistic um, I am an event curator. I am a person who loves to network. I really, really, really love my family. So I should have said that first. Oh, and also I love God. So he's always first. Um, so Asia is just an overall creative, fun, kind, generous person. Um, I guess there's a lot of stuff I could say about myself, but I don't know Asia Cobbs is basically the art trap house okay guys so what is the art trap house the art trap house is a festival a music and arts festival that I created by myself oh no sorry y'all look um, that I created by myself from an idea that I had when I lived in Charlotte North Carolina um, so I moved to Charlotte North Carolina when I was around 20 to 22 or something and I had my own apartment and I used to paint in my sunroom all the time and I just like had this epiphany like okay I know that there's other people around the world who have talent um, but may not have a place to be supported that may not have family that supports their dreams or agrees with what their dreams are or maybe they just kind of don't believe in themselves so um, I really wanted to create like a space and an atmosphere for those kind of people um, to, to just come and network, to come and be seen, to come and feel heard, um, and just really feel, you know, supported. So I just really felt like, you know, that the arts was not really taken as serious as it should be. So um, I just, I just really wanted to, you know, um, create an event that really cater to artists needs and create kind of like a general program that so that they could get some skills and some tools to apply to their life after they left um, the art tribe house some some things you know make some connections or if it was to just gain some confidence um, to put towards their dreams um, or you know I, I just I don't know there's so many things that you know you gain when you use the art trap house um, and when we offer our services to you you know we we open up our platform to you so that you can have um, our audience and you can help build your fan base or your clientele from the art trap house um, we have learned that that has been a really great way for people to gain followers from us to just you know by showcasing their um, skills and their talents and their passions so um, it is a really really great place to come the art trap house is my home and there have been so many artists and so many creatives business entrepreneurs all of that um, have been welcome into my home so I just absolutely love the art trap house um, so for instance what does the art trap house show look like so the festival is two days and within the art trap house we have um, performing artists we have you know poets perform on the stage we'll have a DJ it's almost like a kind of like a big art party um, we will have vendors such as painters graphic designers we will have um, clothing vendors uh, podcasts radio stations body painters live painting um, henna tattooing uh, real tattoos like uh, mini hip-hop museum um, owned by Millie um, that's one of my great friends who lives in Baltimore if you haven't heard about him make sure you guys check him out um, what else is at the art trap house I mean it's just a collective of artists it is a collective of people and my goal with the art trap house is really to just bring artists together 
and it is to be able to make connections with people and that we can use other people for resources we can ask for help maybe someone else wants to collaborate with this person or that person i mean the list just goes on and on about what happens at the art trap house and what can come of it you know i've built so many relationships from hosting the art trap house show so this is a really 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 great way to get your name out um don't sleep on the show and don't sleep on yourself regardless of who believes in you you have to believe in you first okay um what visions or ideas started the art trap house so like i said um i am a painter i started out painting just with a dream that like i always knew that i had some type of um artistic ability to share with the world so i really wanted to share that and i really wanted to put that out into the community and really what what gave me the vision was that i was always turned down every time i asked for help and i was just like oh my goodness you know how can i create something that is going to be beneficial to people's needs and their questions for wanting to open up a small business or just be an entrepreneur by themselves so you know i just i wanted to create that so i guess what i'm trying to say is i wanted it to be a platform for artists but i also wanted the artists to take initiative for their own life and i really want them to you know research what it is that they want to do research how um you know wh how can i throw my own art show in my own city or how do i you know get a venue or what steps do I have to take to do X, Y, and Z? You know what I mean? I really want them to just be fearless. I really want them to just understand, you know, um, what it's going to take to be where you want to be in life. Um, so if that answered the question, my vision was just that I was a painter. And um, I knew that there was people out there like you guys who needed a platform and just needed some extra help and guidance to become awesome. Okay, um, they want to know about artist management from my perspective. Artist management from my perspective would be, I mean, I'm not really sure exactly how to answer that question, but my goal with managing artists is just really to set them up for success. Um, I want to make sure that, you know, all of the grounds are covered as far as, having the rights to your music or setting up contracts with people learning how to to read a contract and follow the contract um you know showing up on time um just be the best performer that you can be like for me from an artist i mean from a uh, manager's point of view i never want to put people in a position that they're not ready for or put them in a position where they're not going to be successful so you guys think, you know, okay, boom, I'm a rapper. I, da, 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 I can rap, I can rap. But you guys want to be on the stage. You want to open for Jay-Z as soon as you sign a contract with somebody. But my thing is, is like, maybe you're not ready. Maybe you don't have um, stage presence yet. Maybe you don't have, um, you know, how to communicate and how to engage with your audience while you're on stage. So my thing is, is that developing as an artist is definitely part of the process and it's great that you have a lot of confidence but it's always you know you can take steps baby steps to just get to your goal so that you can be presented as the best um you as the best artist and so that people will want to invest in your craft they want to go stream your music you know um things like that so it's definitely a process and you have to be able to um know what you want to do exactly and you have to be able to be a student and, and be able to learn um, what your manager is trying to teach you or say to you or whatever like we all don't know it all I don't even know it all I still ask for guidance when I have questions I still have questions I'm still learning you know as we all are so just um, management from my point of view is really just to help develop the artists and help them get to their dreams and their goals and to um, show them how this business really 
really works um, on the inside and that whenever you know you leave my uh, management or my program that you're going to be successful um, without me so I just want to make sure that you guys are are well taken care of and um, that you're that you're your best that you're operating out of your best self or your higher self and I just want to make sure you know you guys are not getting any getting any getting into any shenanigans that you should not be okay what was the development process like for the art trap house that is a good question um, the development process for the art trap house was very long um, I started in 2016 so I you know traveled uh, to Atlanta I traveled to Baltimore to do shows I traveled to Washington DC Philadelphia New York um, Austin Texas for South by Southwest that was like two years ago you know Asheville North Carolina um, so within hosting these shows and throwing these shows you know there was just that was part of my development and I'm still actually developing as a curator and um, just like uh, just putting th together events and things so um, I really the development process was just a lot of learning a lot of trial and error a lot of okay I'm not gonna ever do that again okay I've learned from that lesson um, so you know the development process is just really it's been challenging <clears throat> it's been very challenging but a blessing nonetheless so um, Let's see, I'll give you guys an example of something that I learned. Um, for, for me, I started to realize that my service, at first I started um, letting people in for free, um, like it's vendors and artists, you know, performing artists and things, but I started to realize um, that my service was actually needed and that I could provide it as a service and make money from hosting these festivals, you know. I'm allowing <clears throat> oh my goodness I'm allowing people to come in and um, you know be a part of the art trap house um, such as you know guests and, and things um, I'm getting you the exposure I'm promoting you I'm working hard and I'm just like okay guys at this point you know I think it's time for you to you to pay I feel confident enough in, in the service that I'm offering it's time you know to set a price to my service so that's one of the things that um, I actually have been developing in and learning you know just my demographic who is my target audience um, why are they my target target audience um, why should you know just kind of expressing why you should be a part of my festival or why should you have my services just really really you know learning so um, I'm still developing I'm still in my fourth year so there's so much to learn but um, those are just kind of like the, the small things about my business that I've come to like I've, I've acquired a lot of knowledge on how to host events what kind of things are people going to be looking for everything <clears throat> excuse me everything up into lighting um, who's going to man my door to my host to my DJ to the decorations it's just been a wonderful process and I'm just so happy that you know um, I've gotten to learn I've gotten to actually go through this process I love it um, another question what do you see for yourself and your brand well right now I have a dance team well I have the music and arts festival which we travel I have um, T-A-T-H dance crew which is the art trap house uh, youth dance crew um, our head coach for that is Tamara Simmons our assistant coaches are um, Kamaya Jeanette and Angel now we just um, moved one of our dancers up to a coach um, which is Dayana so congratulations Dayana um, and then we have our wonderful financial advisor Crystal and I love her so much she just helps me with all of the finances she helps with the budget like she does it everybody on that team does a phenomenal job so I'm just very thankful for that um, we have a new artist signed to the art trap house which is DB wank he is a trap soul artist he sings and dances he just got a lot of swag so I'm definitely I'm definitely excited about that um, 
so what do I see for my brand I see all of these people who work uh, with me to you know develop my brand and um, just be a part of it I see really great things for all of us I see a lot of successes I, I see um, growth of course um, financial gains um, I definitely just want to have the best of the best artistry and creations come from my brand and I really just want um, I just want growth you know I do I do really want a steady incline for my life and for my brand I just want to keep going up and up and up and up and up and up and up you know and um, I just I'm just really excited about what is to come I'm really excited about all the talented people that I get to work with and um, I don't know I guess I, I don't know I just don't want to be on here rambling too much let me see what else where do I see myself in 10 years <sighs> haven't even thought that far I'm just kind of chugging along chug it along <laughs> I'm just trying to you know figure out everything for what it is right now I'm just trying to figure out this shirt man maybe I need to sit up straight I just want to um you know figure out everything for what I'm doing now you know um, we have South by Southwest coming up this year and I have not released any details about how to be in South by Southwest for my personal show because I'm still trying to solidify some dates and just get everything really solid for you guys to come in and party hardy you know what I'm saying so um, you know thank you guys for your questions uh, I'm sorry if I didn't get to all of them you know um, let's see if I have any advice on anybody who's trying to do or start a business or just has a dream I told y'all just win I told y'all um, What do I suggest? I suggest you do research on how to get your dream started. Like, I have a lot of people coming to me. I want to start a podcast, okay? What do you think you need to do to start a podcast? What is the very, ver the very first thing you need to do? You need to see if you want to do a podcast by yourself or you need to see if you want to have a host with you. You know what I'm saying? So maybe you want to try to find a co-host or... Maybe you want to try to find special guests. You, you might want to start lining that up. After you figure that out, you might want to start calling studios um, that might let you come in and, and record. Um, you might want to invest in a camera if you want to do visuals and put it on YouTube and Facebook and Instagram. And you might want to start, you know, connecting with people like me if you want to go to shows and, and do things live. You know, just really put yourself in your dream, like seriously. And, and I say to give yourself time to dream I said give yourself time to just vision where it is that you want to be and why do you even want to be there you know just really think about those things and really um really just take a leap of faith like there's going to be sacrifices with everything that you do but you know everybody like me cannot give you all of the answers to do what you want to do we can give you a little guidance um but you're gonna have to do research on your own you're gonna have to take the first steps you're gonna have to um ride for yourself for real like, you're just gonna have to indulge in it that's exactly what i did i had to sacrifice a lot to get to the art trap house like where we are today and um it's made me a stronger woman it's made me a wiser woman so just be ready for that like I always say you have to accept what comes with the territory whether you feel like it's good or whether it's bad it's all a part of the learning process so um, I mean everything that always happens isn't isn't even bad it's kind of like a lesson you know it's like okay I'm never gonna do that again so just um, you know get ready for the ride put on your seatbelt and just go for it you guys that's what i say go for it believe in yourself don't doubt yourself there's going to be times where you want to doubt yourself but through this whole time of me you know starting the art trap house i really have just believed i've had faith i've asked for help i've asked people um hey can you do this can we do that can we collab you know whatever also i would like to say if you want to start your business remove people from your life 
that just don't need to be there if you're complaining about them if you feel like they're in the way you feel like they're stopping you you feel like you're giving too much of yourself to them and they're not giving enough back to you honey go ahead and drop it okay go ahead and take care of yourself and go ahead because because these people they'll use you until they can't and they'll suck you drive everything that you have and then leave you for dead you know what i'm saying and not even care so my thing is is make sure that you put you first that you care about you know yourself first enough to part ways with things that are not serving you so i say all of that with love and um i'm gonna go ahead and get off of here and hopefully you know we'll chat again very soon thank you guys for watching and we hope to see you back uh also do me a couple of favors before i actually get off of here okay sorry um follow me on instagram at asia cobbs follow me or add me on facebook um at asia cobbs and follow the art trap house on instagram at the art trap house we also have a facebook page so make sure you guys tune in check us out um if you're going to be a supporter of us please engage with us please leave comments please like please share our content you know this is a community effort to bring people together to support one another so please you know help us out and um engage don't just watch us because that's like probably one of my biggest pet peeves right now it's like people just they just watch you watch your snaps you have hundreds of people watching your your stories and then nobody nobody liking your content that you post and it's just like it just kind of helps us know like yeah we like this yeah we don't like that you know what i'm saying so just kind of engage with us and just help us out if you like what we're doing thumbs up if you don't maybe you can just unfollow or maybe you just want to be nosy i don't know but anyways um sending love and prayers to everybody best wishes on your journey best wishes on your new business best wishes on your new creations all of that um i love y'all thanks for tuning in